Hi everyone, this is Pete Morelli from Holden Advisors to talk about what we can learn from the price increase that Netflix rolled out last week. Now they announced that prices would increase $1 to $2 a month, depending on the plan that you have for a subscription video on demand service. There's always a lot of press surrounding Netflix price actions. This one's no different, but there's three things I like in particular that we can take away and learn from last week's announcement. Number one, be predictable as an organization with your behavior and your pricing. Number two, align the message that associated with your price action to the action you actually took. And then number three, do your homework on your customers and the market. All right, let's get into it. The first thing of note is the predictability of the announcement. Netflix is effectively training their customers to expect and accept continued price increases. Now, at $1 to $2 a piece, last week's increase was consistent and in line with the relative value of prior increases. However, the one thing that's different is that these increases are getting closer together in terms of time. In 2011 to 2014, prices were consistent for that three-year period. Then there was a couple years between price actions, and now we're approaching almost a one-year timeline in between price increases. So going forward, I think we can expect these continued incremental smaller increases every 12 to 18 months. So the second notable piece about the increase last week was that the messaging was aligned with the price action. Now the consistent message from the last increase to this increase has been that Netflix is investing heavily in streaming content, largely produced on their own. And this is true in the sense that they've invested $10 billion over the last 12 months doing so. And there's credibility in this announcement because they can back it up. Netflix has received recognition from the Golden Globes, the Grammys, the Emmys, the Academy Awards. These are high content, high quality shows that customers like and enjoy again and again. Now, the other point about the messaging with the multi-billion dollar investment is that it has a nice effect to anchor the message and make customers feel pretty good about getting billions of dollars worth of value for just one to two dollars a month. And then finally, the simplicity of this message and the consistency of it over time has allowed Netflix to just simply roll this out to all customers at once, existing and new, rather than grandfathering in existing customers to delay the price increase. So this will increase the speed to revenue recognition, a big benefit for the organization. So the third thing of note from the announcement last week was that Netflix has done their homework. Netflix, with this price action, there's always a risk of losing some customers or reducing your growth rate, but it's so powerful that they could lose 9 million of their 60 million U.S. subscribers and still break even from a revenue perspective. And by the way, this is not very likely in a business that's growing 25% year over year on a worldwide basis. Now, some alternatives to Netflix in the streaming world are certainly a credible threat. However, as these new providers and existing providers, Hulu and Amazon, DC, Disney, Warner Brothers, there's going to be an increasing number that are popping up. But Netflix has such a dominant position in terms of market penetration. This increase, if anything, provides them more flexibility in the future as they position themselves at the premium offering to be creative with their pricing, whether that's promotional or holding constant as there's in more competitors in the space. Finally, there's some network effects that make it an advantage for Netflix to be the leader right now. One is that they're collecting data on all their 60 million U.S. subscribers, suggesting other alternatives that they might like. And this is a very easy thing for consumers to just continue on with their subscriptions, knowing they're getting a product they're comfortable with. And for Netflix as an organization, the revenue that they're receiving now from the customer base allows them to invest more heavily in new content which, by the way, has a very low marginal cost when you have more subscribers in the future viewing your owned content rather than purchasing it from other providers. So as a Netflix subscriber, I'm not too psyched about the price increase that was announced last week. But if you're an investor, you're probably pretty happy. On January 15th, right after the announcement was made, the stock shot up 6%. And even when you account for the potential customer churn, and the continued investment that Netflix is going to make in the content creation for themselves or purchasing other content, the market priced in a big portion of that increase as profitable growth. So I think Netflix got this one right this time. I'd love to hear what you think. Additionally, please send me your questions on either pricing current events 
or pricing strategy in your business, and I'll answer them in a future video. All right, everyone, I'm Pete Morelli with Holden Advisors. Thanks for tuning in.